Okay, we've got a call here to a condo that we have been to before and there's a refrigerant leak on this uh, over and under package unit and it's still under warranty. I'm not sure who put it in, but we were able to order a condensing coil for it. So that should be here, I don't know, maybe in a week or so. But the complaint right now is that it is uh, full-time auxiliary heat even when the temperature is only one degree apart or even when they're even. So let's go take a look at it. Here's a couple of pictures that the tenant sent to us or sent to the owner. But we're gonna see if something's going on with the controls or whatever in the meantime while we are waiting for the parts. Now we've been keeping it full of refrigerant so it holds it for two or three weeks. I don't, I don't think that's the problem, but let's look. All right, they, somebody has put a, you know, these were all over unders, but somebody has put a, uh, just a standard left and right package unit and they built this thing here. So I'm not sure if they're using the bottom discharge maybe to adapt to the over under duct or what they're doing or why they sat it up this high but we may take a look underneath and see but I don't know what they've what all they've done here but here's the one that we're going to need to work on here somebody has replaced it not too awful long ago Go inside and see where the thermostat is set, but there's a lot of oil right under the bottom there. Typical spot. These units leak right under that filter dryer. Let's go check the thermostat. Okay, so I went inside and the auxiliary heat and the main heat staging is working correctly on the thermostat. What, uh, what's not happening is we're not getting a compressor or anything on first stage here. So let's see if we can resolve that. At least figure out why that's not that's what I get for doing this one-handed let's see if we can try to figure out what's going on here with that so it looks like everything is connected correctly Let's see if we're getting any. We don't have any red flashes. Okay. So let's find out if our thermostat is giving us is giving us a call for yellow quick easy way to touch those together all right so we've got no voltage to that yellow coming from the thermostat let's investigate that not. <laughs> there's not it's just you totally could have pulled okay so there's quite a bit of chatter going on in the house there with the tenant and the landlord that have apparently not seen each other for a while. Normally I keep a 5,000 in the truck and all I've got today 
is six thousands. So she's gonna have to take that. But we were getting no call to the yellow whatsoever. And that's not a setup type. That was the old 4,000, as you saw. And they were specific to heat cool or to heat pump type. And uh, anyway, so I just jumped out the red and yellow and the outside came right on. So that's why she's getting nothing but auxiliary. So let's change this. And that should put us back to operation until we get all of the issues resolved. I haven't been up here for, this is seven, eight years ago when I first started. I played it all my life, ping pong. Mm -hmm. well, I first went up to be a whole year to win a match. Oh, really? Yeah, because I did not. Talk about competitive. Yeah, I, well, I didn't understand. The, 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 first off, I was serving illegally. I was used to playing a 25. I mean, I played the old style ping pong. Mm -hmm. And there's all sorts of little nuances. And these guys are doing these. The serve correctly, Long putting all the side spin, under spin, top spin. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't feel it. When I went to hit it, the ball would go everywhere else, but over the net. Because the of the spin. Yes. So I, I went down a rabbit hole trying to figure out what am I going to do to make this work for me. And sure enough, I found a piece of equipment called long tips that allowed me to hit. When the ball hits it, it slows the spin down, mm -hmm. allows me the opportunity, if I have my hand correct, to put the back on the tail. At least I get a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was really proud. So I put it on both sides of my paddle. Uh -huh. Well, you can't serve with it because it doesn't do it. Either. Oh, no. <laughs> and not only that, I, on, with my forehand stroke, it doesn't adapt. It's called inverted or smooth on both sides. Mm -hmm. And you can have tacky, semi tacky, slick. Uh, but I play with tips. And they go, oh, you play with the tips. I mean, I'd be sitting there going, Yeah, she goes, shivering. Jeez. She goes, Satisfied. You need to turn the air conditioner off. I'm going, Right. Oh, no, 51 is that. Here we go. It was, I was having icicles in my nose at 64. Thank you very much. No. That, I mean, literally, we would have the window open sometimes during winter. Oh, no. Now I get up and I go and look at the thermostat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I tell people, listen, I know I'm from Nebraska, but I am a warm weather girl that has been trapped in a cold weather well, girl's life. To me, it's the first part of the elementary okay so i couldn't get a lot of footage or at least i was unable to narrate the footage in the house and uh oh yeah we're in the we're in the heat mode because that air is ice cold coming out of there so apparently another problem arose while we're working on the freon leak situation the thermostat decided to go bad and the yellow was not giving us voltage out here. So as you saw, when I jumped it out, it came on. So I changed the thermostat and it's up and running correctly now. So until this coil comes in and we can get the refrigerant leak stopped, we're probably just holding for a few weeks at a time, if I remember correctly. Um, so that was kind of a coincidence that something else is going on in the middle of a repair and we get a call back. So. In the end, they'll pay us for the thermostat, but we're not gonna charge them for coming back after we were just here. So I don't know if this is gonna get published or not. Just have to review this footage and see if I can edit enough to make it worth watching. And uh, 
guess we'll find out. So on to the next one. Thanks for watching.